Hey guys, it's Jennifer and I have a five and five for you guys, so let's jump right into it. All right, so the first product is a native shampoo. So they sent me this when I got my last deodorant order and I did use it over Christmas. It was in the scent candy cane, which smelled exactly like a candy cane. And I, okay, so I felt like this shampoo was a bit too harsh for my everyday wash. Um, it says it's silicone free and sulfate free, but it does have sodium laurel sar la 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 um, in it. And I find that that is an ingredient that is a bit stripping on my hair. So it's a good shampoo. I just felt like it wasn't as moisturizing as I needed it to be. So it's not going to replace my shampoo that I'm currently using that I love that I will be talking about soon. Um, but I did think it was decent. I really like the fragrance. The fragrance in it is next level. Like if you want a really fragrant shampoo, honestly, like native, they got the fragrance down. All right. So the next thing is the Strivectin anti recoil SD Advanced Intensive Moisturizing Concentrate. It is so long. So this is something that I've spoken about on my channel before. I had a small size of that and I had been using it on my fine line that I have on my forehead that I'm always talking about and my smile lines. And so I bought a big bottle of this to test it out. Oh dear. Um, in the beginning, I felt like this really did something for me. I could really tell that it seemed to help reduce the appearance of those fine lines. Over time, however, I, I it just doesn't. Um, I have used it as a full moisturizer and I don't feel like that was doing anything for me. And then I've used it as just a spot treatment just on those lines, moisturized it in. I really didn't notice anything, um, quite honestly. So I hate to say bad things because people rave about this and that's not to say that it won't work. In the beginning, I did feel like this was doing something for me, but just over time, I feel like I saw that less and less. So I am not gonna purchase another one of these. I do have the one for the eyes right now that I'm testing, but I think that I will not be purchasing another one of the full size. All right, next we have the, what is this called? The New Company, and this is their Topical C Powder. I think I got this in a Lore Beauty box. Oh, I actually see a little bit of powder in there. Um, so this is Vitamin C Powder. I mix it in with my moisturizer every day. Yeah, there was just a little bit left. Um, but it looks like that, and you just literally mix it in and rub it in with your face. I find that it's the best way for me to get Vitamin C in my skincare. So I've already purchased another one, but another brand. This is fine. It worked fine. Like, I like it, it it blended in I feel like it was brightening um, but right now I'm testing a drugstore version which I think may overpower this one to me I've also tested Versed on my channel their powder vitamin C which I loved so for me I just don't I can't justify the price of this those were so good and they did the same thing for me and you know so you do you but I for me personally I'd rather pay a less affordable version of this all right, next we have the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. Uh, yeah, Airbrush Primer. So I got this as a bonus item from Ulta Order. And let me start with the negatives first so I can end on a high note. There are two negatives with this product. The first one is this is the applicator for the sample that they sent me. And this is, I don't know if you're going to be able to see like how much is left down there that I can't get to. And that is driving me insane. I cannot, I've tried to store it upside down. I've tried to find smaller things to stick in this hole. I just can't get to the bottom. And that's such a bummer. So please make sure Hourglass that you have applicators that are long enough to actually get to the bottom of your product. Because I've cleaned it out where I could. But yeah, it's, it, there's still some down there. Uh, and I just can't get to it. Um, the other thing that I've noticed is that this does tend to cause some breaking up of my foundation where I have dry patches. Just where my skin is dry, I've noticed that this tends to break up a little bit. All those things aside, the positive, I love it. It's beautiful. It feels amazing putting it on. It is like rubbing silk into your skin. And I do think that it blurs and gives me this airbrush sort of quality. So even though I don't love it in all places, I don't love it on my chin because I noticed it started to break up right here in the poor central zone. Ooh, it's a beautiful primer. Um, I don't think that I will purchase the full size just because of those issues that I did have with the breaking up. But if you get a sample of it, I strongly suggest trying it and see if you can make it work because it is gorgeous. Finally, the last thing that I want to share is this pure on point eyeliner down to earth in the color. Oh, the color is down to earth. <laughs> it's a nice brown color. So, okay. 
This eyeliner, I have such a love-hate relationship with. I loved it in the beginning because I do feel like it's great on the waterline. It has decent longevity. It's not the longest wearing eyeliner I've ever tested, but it's pretty good. What I don't love about it is the packaging. First of all, I could not figure out how in the world to get more product out. I had to go to YouTube and look up videos. You should never have to do that with a product. Like it should be a bit self-intuitive or it should at least be on the package because it does say sharpen on the lid and it has a direction that you, you push the lid to sharpen it. Okay, I understand that, but how do you get the product out? Apparently what you're supposed to do is push down like this and some of the product comes out. Well, that doesn't work. I have been pushing this. There's plenty in here left. There is plenty in here left. I've been pushing, 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 pushing. There is no pencil that's coming out. So I just have to toss it now because I can't get to the bottom of it. So for that reason, I will not purchase another one of these. It's a good product, but packaging needs some work. All right, guys, that's it for me. Sorry I went a bit long today, but I hope everybody's doing great, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!